just want to show you the um, all the piping and all the tubing in the um, ground of the uh, now what it looks like here you have an old gas line and a new gas line uh, see the, the new gas line is that one that's kind of capped off at the end you see that yellow piping right there um, made out of a pol like a almost like a plastic polymer and the old one is the one that's right next to it you can see where it kind of lines the bottom and it, you got a connector like right there so that's probably where they're going to make the transition from um, old to new I'm pretty sure they're going to probably cut it right there and cap it right there I'm not too sure what that person was saying so that's what we're looking at and it's a lot of piping you got to go around which is not easy Let's see if I can get a Not too sure who the heck that is, but they call back if they if it's important. You guys can't smell it, but it's a little you can smell that little additive that they put inside gas to make gas have a smell to it. I forget the name of that chemical. So here you have the uh that's the transition, so you see where it kind of goes over. A little crack in the PVC there, you might have to, might have to band aid that up, but it's not a big deal. This stuff here is not easy because you gotta dig around a lot of pipe, a lot of tubing. There's another set of pipes that go right under there, which could be. Most of this stuff is electrical. That could be fire alarm cable. If it's red, it's probably fire alarm. I'm willing to bet that's that's for the fire the fire alarm pool station or something like that. I could be wrong because I don't know everything. But it could be it could be that. But that's yeah. I can find out where red 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 is definitely electrical. And this right here. how that happened. I'm not sure if they're trying to dig that out or if that broke like that. Yeah, it's probably the cables that go to this fire alarm box right here for the fire department. Because the fire department runs a lot of cables on the ground as, just as well as the other departments. Like, every time you see a call box, or a master box, we can call it. There's cables that run from the master box to the central station. So, and that's a lot of cables. The transit system also runs a lot of um, lines on the ground too. And whatever you see, a street car or a trolley car, they, they run a lot of lines on the ground. So you get lines from a lot of different agencies that run on the ground. Take a walk up here and A lot of work to do, a lot of work. These guys got a tedious process of um, kind of heating up the pipe and mend mending it together. I believe when you see those right there, that's where you have the uh, anal, anal rods. There's, there's anal rods that you put in there. How you doing, my man? Uh, like I said, it's a lot of work to do. So, you always got to document what you see in public, especially when there's work being done on the, the city, the city, because you always want to make sure your tax-paying dollars are going to something worthwhile. Um, 
I document everything I see in the city. Anything in public, I document it. Good or bad, you have to, you have to document what you see. If you don't, we're at Brinton Street. Brinton Street in Roxbury off of, uh, what's that street off of? Washington Street? We got two detail offices over there chilling out. So this this side right here is completed. And, and this has been an ongoing project for like the last three or four months. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm everywhere. Nothing much, man. I'm trying to trying to hang low. What you been, what you been up to? I stopped in today. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Beautiful day for you. Oh yeah, this is one of the. We gotta enjoy it while we can. Put it put it that way. Supposed to rain later, though. Yeah, hopefully everything's done before that. I was just back, uh, I'm originally from outside. Let me shut this off, hold on. <laughs> I don't want to, there's certain things I don't want to put on video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm originally from, I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm originally from outside of Pittsburgh. Uh-huh. It was beautiful, like 75 degrees, yeah. right? I look on my, uh, someone put up something on Instagram. Two inches of snow. Oh, yeah, yeah, it I does. guess it's coming up this way. Or something up this way? Yeah, snow? but really? it's going to hit out west, I guess. Holy shit. Well, it's I did. It's going to rain all weekend. I did say that we could get snow in July. And it's very possible. Snow in July? We could. It's possible. We could. No, if, if, right. the, if, the, if the temperature is right, you know what I mean? Yeah. If all the conditions are the right way, you, know, you get the, the cold front coming cold in. Nights in yeah. July. Yeah, so it can happen. But with the weather changing, it's so, so ch back and forward, anything can happen yeah. now. Like, it's we're, true, we're on like a, a fault line in here, too, I heard. I don't know where the fault line runs, but they say that we're on the fault line. Watch it back there. Yeah, that's... This is always something going on. 